some pretty big things have happened since I've started this YouTube channel, but probably the biggest like press pass I've ever had for a game was Annan v Rangers last season. I got to meet the Rangers squad and Gio van Bronckhorst, but up there with that is probably uh, maybe the B team old firm where I met Ange Postacoglu and managed just to get him on the vlog just very briefly as well. But today is absolutely massive. I've never had a press pass like this before in the Premiership where I'll be seeing the champions play. Of course, I've had a, like I say, a press pass for a Rangers game. I've had a press pass for a Celtic game before, um, but it was the B team. Um, but today I'm actually going to Kilmarnock versus Celtic in the Premiership. Um, and I'll be sat in the press box for it. Been invited down by Kilmarnock, so a huge, huge thank you to them. Really, really means a lot to me. And um, when these kind of big things happen to me, I always think back of um, like the first few press passes I had behind closed doors games during COVID. The first ever one was Stenhouse Muir v Edinburgh City in League Two. So long ago now that Edinburgh City have even changed their name. And I've also been to like Cumbernauld Colts against Kelty Hearts in the Lowland League with no fans and loads of stuff like that. And I always think back to them because I just feel like I'm going on momentum um, since then to now um, where I get to come to huge occasions like this. So I don't know what today's got in store. I've had a really manic weekend. Friday night, Friday night I was at Darville Kill winning Rangers. Yesterday I was at Strand Rara against Bonnie Rig Rose. And today we're seeing the champions play at Rugby Park. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit that like button and subscribe if you're new. Couple of Killy fans, as I can yeah. see. Yeah. How has the start of the season gone for you? Uh, don't, no, don't the the draw against Dundee was good. Got yep. the Rangers, that's a, good a bit result. unfortunate. But, but, but. You've had a quite a tough start. So you've played Dundee United, you got a draw. They obviously qualified to Europe last oh, year. You've had to go to Ibrox. Then and then you got Celtic yes. today. Yeah, but we'll get all there. them over and then we can start getting the points. Of course, yeah, get them out of the way and then start picking up the points a little bit later, do you think? But yeah. do you think you could pick up a point or three today? I think uh, three, uh, points. Oh, three points. Yeah, you, you got to be confident, haven't you? A nice oh. sunny day like this. Two-one killer. Two-one two, one killie and... Uh, three-one killie. Three-one going for it. You must be one of Kilmarnock's biggest fans. I've seen you here a few times um, now, yeah, haven't I? I'm a biggest fan, yeah. And how has the early start gone? You've had some tough games. We have. I draw, draw against the United and a loss during the last week. Yep. Let's, let's hope and this year we... Let's see where we belong. Yes, I think so as well. I think you'll be okay this season. Yeah. Pete, I can see you're a massive Celtic fan, decked out today. Um, how is the feeling around the club right now? Oh, it's good. Uh, obviously, get a better win than, than what Rangers did. We'll go back top of the league. So, hopefully, um, hopefully it'll be a good day for the Celtic fans and the weather's great. So yeah, it's a great day for it's it. It's a long journey back home after this, back to Carlisle. But, hey. Oh, you're from Carlisle? Okay, yeah. yeah. Well, I, I come from... Uh, a wee place near Dunblane, but, yep. uh, but I live down in Carlisle. Oh, lovely, cool. And um, obviously, Killy were in the Championship last year. Yep. Um, but how have previous results been against them when they have been in the Prem? Oh, they're a hard team to play, especially uh, with the pitch not being, being grass. But you know, hopefully, we've, we've got the players and the stamina, we can prevail and, and get three points and hopefully a few goals. Wow, yeah, I'm really excited for this one. Look, today we are inside Rugby Park. Look at this press pass for the Celtic game. And look, we have some of the TV guys down there, the Sky Sports cameras down there. But let's give you a little bit of context about the two teams today. So firstly, yeah, look how easy this app is to use. I absolutely love using FopMob to check the scores. You'll see me check them all the time. If you'd have seen my video yesterday, I always like, check the Kelty scores. Obviously, this is Sunday, so Kelty aren't playing. But look, today, the games that we have, we've got Forest, West Ham, Chelsea, Spurs, but the early kickoff, Killy Celtic, this is the game that we're at today. You can download it from the top, uh, actually from the pinned comment, sorry. I'll do a pinned comment um, to where you can download this app yourself. And it is amazing, and it is free. And the more downloads I get, the more chance they have to sponsor me again. Um, but yeah, let's just check out, look, the odds, it's not a betting app, but it does show you 
you on so you can get some context on things. Kilmarnock 16 to 1, Celtic 2 to 11. Celtic obviously the huge favourites here. Let's have a quick look at the table. Celtic have won their first opening two games. Look, six points. They're three points behind Rangers who have played a game more. And unfortunately for Killy, they are in 11th, but they've had a really tough start against um, three teams who have all qualified for Europe, including um, the two old firm teams, obviously one of which is today as well. But yeah, again, guys, honestly, I love using FOTMOB. It gives you so many cool stats on here um, about the two teams. Look, the head-to-heads in the previous 38. Look at that. Celtic have absolutely dominated, as you can imagine. But yes, please, top comment. Please do download it. It is an incredible app, and it really, really supports my channel. Obviously, at this time during vlogs, I'm usually um, outside chatting to fans and stuff. But I wanted to get in here early. Knowing that I was press, I'd, I'd get in early to this game. Um, and there's going to be some big names here. Obviously, I think you may be able to see behind me. John Hartson's up there. Um, Chris Boyd is here today um, doing the sky as well. He's up there going through some notes. James McFadden is here as well. So there's already some big names here, but the players will be coming out of this uh, tunnel very shortly, I think. Um, so hopefully we can chat to one or two of them. I hope the music doesn't start up in the stadium um, too soon um, before the players actually get here. I'd love to chat to maybe one or two of them. Um, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Huge game against Celtic today. Um, you obviously got a point in your first game and then played at Ibrox as well. How tough of a start has it been for Killy? It's been tough, but I think we've enjoyed it. Um, it's probably brought the team really together, you know what I mean? Tough game at Ibrox as well. So hopefully today will be another tough one, but the boys are ready to go. Yeah, and um, do you relish these big games against these uh, obviously massive clubs? Of course, yeah. I think these are the games everybody wants to play in. Uh, it'll be packed here today. Our fans will be buzzing, so we we'll just give them some home to... Perfect, mate. Good luck, mate. Cheers. Killy. 5 0 Killy? Yeah. He's confident. Are you a uh, Killing fan or Celtic fan? Celtic. Celtic fan. We'll keep that quiet for today. I'm sure there'll be a lot in the home end, but what do you think the score's going to be today? 3 0 Celtic. 3 0 to Celtic. Enjoy, my man. 2 1 Killy. And 2 1 Killy. I think it's going to be 2 1 Killy. 2 1 Killy. Enjoy, mate. What do you think the score's going to be today? Uh, 2 1 Celtic.
up by Hayes. If Jota doesn't go on to win player of the year after his first few weeks, I was stunned. He's just scored one from 30 yards. And so we've got already running away with us from here. Bicycle kick. You know you're a good team when your centre back is scoring a bicycle kick. We're into stoppage time in the first half now, and it is 3 0 to Celtic. And look, they're having a party in the sun today. It's half time here, Celtic have absolutely dominated so far. 3 0. I shall see you in the second half. The second half has begun here, and all the Killy fans keep telling me that the season starts next week for Killy, but I think they have Ross County. Um, the first three games this year have been Dundee United, who finished fourth last season, um, Rangers, and Celtic. So a really, really tough start. And they're going to lose today, probably. Um, but they got one point against Dundee United. So a return from them three games of a point probably isn't that bad, um, especially if they can start to pick up points over games four, five, six, seven, eight, and stuff. Um, but I watched Celtic last week in Dingwall, and despite a scare where they were you know, six minutes away from actually drawing the game, um, they dominated throughout, and before Ross County equalised, they could have easily been three, four up themselves, a little bit like they are today, so they are really going to take some stopping this year. I mean, when Ange came in, there was question marks over his signings, there was question marks over him, there were question marks over the runnings of the club, over what happened the season before, but um, killing of a half chance there. But, um, yeah, I mean, what he's done with this squad is just unbelievable. Again, the defence is so solid, the midfield is so dynamic, the attackers have so much quality, and Joe Hart is such an experienced keeper as well. It's going to take a lot to stop them. Kyogre's at the bar. Ooh. Off comes Fraser Murray. Again, they interviewed him recently, so check that video out if you haven't already. He's had a good game today. Obviously, tough, uh, a tough opponent. He's not going to get too many... Um, chances to attack but I feel like he's uh, it's been tenacious won the ball back quite a few times as well so one of the better players for Killy today as we'll get swung in look at some of the stats it gives you as well on Fort Mob again you can get this in the top uh, the pinned comment remember um, it shows you like all the different shots you can like click on a shot and it will show you like who took it like the goal look at where Jota's goal is from
just cleared out a little bit now look we are editing here with rugby park there nice and quiet here now look there's the sky cameras over there um, with Chris Boyd, John Hartson, and James McFadden on the panel today and Andrew Postacoglu is being interviewed down there. Big Killy fan as I can see, yeah. bit unfortunate wasn't it in the end? Yeah. How do you think it went for them? Um, Celtic were just, just a bit of team in the end. Yep, they were just had too much quality, they could make five subs as well, I think that was, that was a big that part of that. it. Do you think you bounce back next week against Ross County? Yeah. Perfect mate, good luck. Thank you. What did you think of today's game? Oh, it was excellent. Celtic fans then? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. Great, phenomenal. Phenomenal. <laughs> They're so good, aren't they? The subs as well that they can make are just unbelievable. But I think you can win the league. So I love the access that Kilmarnock have been giving me lately um, with last season against our Brof and then the interview with Fraser Murray. And now today, look, getting a press pass for a game like this against Celtic, it really is amazing to think for me um, that they even like allow me to come here. Like, it, it is really mad. Um, I really do appreciate um, everything they've done for me. Obviously, it's been um, a mad, mad game today. Celtic absolutely dominated. I feel like it could have been a little bit more at times, but um, you got a feel for Killy when Celtic can make five subs who would all pretty much walk into Kilmarnock's team. Aaron Moy, Starfelt, Abada, Jakimakis. There was one other as well. They made all five subs today, and when you can change half the outfield team for five players who would walk into the opposition's team, there's always going to be a huge advantage. And that is where a big advantage could lie this season for Rangers and for Celtic. Please do remember to hit that like button. Please do subscribe if you're new as well. I've um, got loads and loads coming up, so you're not going to want to miss out on all the cool stuff that I have coming. I'll leave some videos on screen. Please do click on one to carry on watching. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next one.